All right, what up, fam? Let's do a very important maintenance step on the Harley. Let's change out those spark plugs. Let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna change out the spark plugs here. These spark plugs have not been changed in about two oil changes, and that seems to be the recommendation. It's either every two oil changes or every 10 to 15,000 miles. That's what I've heard. I've heard other things out there. It, uh, I would check your owner's manual, maybe check with your trusted mechanic or your Harley dealership. That's what I got from my Harley dealership, so that's how I'm doing it. All right, let's, uh, let's get to this. First steps are really rather simple. You want to take off your spark plug wires. Make sure your engine is cold when you do this. First, you got to take your spark plug wires, grab them from the base, and just pull up. They come right out. I will say Harley makes it very, very easy to change out the spark plugs on the twin cam engines and on the Milwaukee H as well. Uh, I don't know if you all recall or you saw the video of me changing out the spark plugs on the CBR. That thing took a while. Honda made it very, very, very hard to change out the spark plugs. So yeah, Harley makes it very easy. It's only two of them. All right, so to remove these, you're going to need a 5.8 socket with your socket wrench. And it's as easy as righty tidy lefty loosey. Once you break the thread, you can do them by hand. Mind you, this should not have any thread lock or anything. Having said that, we will put anises on the new ones. These should not have any thread locker in them, though they might have anises. Let's take this one out and we're going to inspect them both uh, at the same time. By the way, don't forget while I do this, I'm giving away the CBR 600RR. We're fixing it up and giving her away to a lucky Patreon member. So if you haven't signed up, the link is down in the description. Go ahead and sign up. As little as a dollar enters you to win, so it's going to look fire when it's all done. We've already decided on the color scheme. It's going to have uh, some pre-made custom fairings. The color scheme is going to be black and white. This thing is going to look absolute fire. Alright, here we go. So, I can tell the bolt part looks kind of rusted. Oh wow, yeah, these are old. Alright, but no major no major dirt or, or damage to the electrode. They look like they're gapped properly. Let's take out our gapper here. Now, these spark plugs are made out of iridium. That is the normal uh, material for a spark plug. The gap for a twin cam engine is between 0.38 and 0.45. And as you can see right there, it's right around our four point, uh, point four five. so that one's good. And that one is also good. I don't know if that's visible there, but the 40s right here, it's right around 42. And if you don't know how these work, these are very, very cheap, very easy to work. You can find these at any uh, auto store, auto parts store, usually by the register, they're like 75 cents. And you know, you have your spec per, for each spark plug, I suggest you look those up. And all you do is you insert it here at the thin, right here in between the electrode and the spacer. Insert it at the thin end, work your way up, and where it stops, that's how much your spark plug is gapped. If it's too low, uh, if the gap is too big or too small, you can literally just manipulate this up or down just by gently pressing. It's not a lot, so press gently. Anyway, all right, so these are our two spark plugs. These are going bye-bye. So like I said, these are made out of iridium, and the ones we got are made out of palladium, which is a much better conductive material. If you have the chance to, uh, whenever you buy spark plugs, to get palladium over iridium, I highly recommend it. At least that's the recommend, well, my mechanic recommends it. So, anyway. And I got them straight from Harley Davidson, by the way. I just want to make 100% sure that, uh, that everything's above board. Alright, so. Let's uh, make sure the gap is correct on this. Like I said, it's 0.38, between 0.38 and 0.45. So we're gonna insert here. And that's exactly a 0.4, that's beautiful. And this one, out the box, is exactly at 0.4, perfect. All right, next step is we are gonna put a little bit of anti-seize on the thread. While I'm doing this, I want to give a special shout out to my all my new Patreons. All these folks are now entered for the CBR 600 double R giveaway. So, if you want to be one of these uh, Patreons who now has a chance to win, go ahead. Click on that link below. Get you signed up. Win you a CBR. If you don't like it, just sell it. I don't care. I'm not going to be offended. All right, so we got a little bit of anesthes there on the threads. And at first, you want to just hand tight these in, make sure this thread is perfectly in there. You don't want to cross thread 
your spark plugs. Just hand tighten. Easy. Now just hand tighten your second one. Perfect. Now before the next step, which is torquing these down, make sure when you pull out your old spark plugs, you don't want to have oil or any black spots or any white spots on there. That can indicate there's a problem with your fuel. Whether if it's carburetor or not, that can indicate a problem with your fuel injection and fuel management system. Also, if there's oil in there, you may have a bigger problem. Go talk to your mechanic like as soon as you can. You should not have any oil on your spark plugs. So the process here on this twin cam engine, Harley makes it very easy to change out the spark plugs to the point where this twin, ca twin cam engine, it's a 103, though that doesn't make a difference for this purpose, is you're going to change out the spark plugs exactly the same way as you will on the Sportster Evo engine, even the Milwaukee 8. Uh, I can't speak to the new um, to the new Revo engine or to those engines with 131 kits, but anywhere where you can see the spark plug wires outside, uh, and you can see where the spark plugs fell again, it's gonna be the exact same process. Lastly, we're gonna to torque this down between 15 and 25 nanonewtons, of course. Now, if you don't have a torque wrench, you can do the old contact plus a quarter turn. All right, the last step is gonna come back to your spark plug wires. You wanna get a little bit of dielectric grease, and it's as simple as just putting a little bit of grease in there. You know. Don't fill it up, just a little bit, and then you work it right back in the hair. That just ensures a better contact. And you will feel, when you put these back on, you will feel it click. So make sure you feel it click, and you're all set, you're done. So again, a little dielectric grease in there. Feel it click. There we go, all right, that's it. Let's, uh, let's make sure this bad boy turns on, yeah? Perfect. All right, that's how you change your spark plugs on a twin cam engine for Harley. And again, this works on the Milwaukee 8 and the old Sportster Evo engine. I don't know about the Revo engine yet, but I'll look that up, let you guys know in the description. Again, if you want to sign up for the CBR giveaway, go ahead and sign up. Shout out to the new patrons who've signed up and are now a part of the giveaway. Like, share, subscribe. That's it. That's it.